Hey guys, um, so the topic for this week is neti- uh, I can't talk. Negative effects, um, that eating disorders have on people. Um, uh, whether that be how it's affected you or just in general things that can happen. Um, the reason that I picked this topic was because part of the problem I had, and sometimes still do, but mainly when I was more into my eating disorder, was my mind telling me that uh, I needed the eating disorder, my body was built for the eating disorder because I didn't have any effects from it. Um, so I was just trying to convince myself that that's what I was created. I was created to have an eating disorder and to live with an eating disorder. And I know that sounds crazy and stupid, but there's a lot of things that our eating disorder leads us to believe that are far from true. Um, so anyways, I wanted to do this video in case there's anyone else, or this topic, <laughs> I should say, anyone else on the verge um, or in this war battle with your eating disorder because you're like um, either not good enough in my eating disorder or obviously I can handle this or whatever and that's your reason for not recovering. Um, I just wanted you to see or hear from everyone on this channel of effects that can happen or have happened to them or whatever just to help others. So anyway. The main thing I'm going to talk about is some effects that I've had. So somewhat to convince myself and to know, record this so it's recorded and I know I can come back to this if my mind tries to tell me that I have had any effects. Um, so effects that I have had. Uh, one of the first things that have happened. Sorry if this is shaking. I'm on a bed and I'll try not to move. Um, anyways, one of the first effects that I have had are stretch marks. And I know that sounds odd for something to be an effect, but you know, a big thing with eating disorders ends up being body image and stuff. And with stretch marks, it's really hard to <laughs> like yourself, um, especially when they're not because of a pregnancy or anything. It's because of all the rapid weight loss, weight gain, you know, the back and forth. Your skin just has issues. Um, it's not built to handle all that up and down, up and down, up and down, um, or the extended amount of time being low and then all of a sudden um, going back to a healthy weight, your body just can't. And especially since you've deprived yourself from all your nutrients, your skin is just frail. It doesn't have that elasticity it needs to get back into its normal shape. Or a lot of times, since eating disorders um, tend to start in your teen years, sometimes younger and sometimes older, but the majority it seems to be in the like teenage years. So your body is still developing and um, so if you deprive yourself of the nutrients at that point, you're not giving your body that chance to use that elasticity it has to get into the shape you're supposed to be, if that makes sense. So yeah, I have a ton of stretch marks, and I have never had a full-term pregnancy, but it looks like I have. Um, but it's not in my stomach, it's my hips and my thighs are just covered in stretch marks. Um, some places aren't like that bad. I may exaggerate them, but my hips are just covered. Um, 
in according to my husband. You can't notice that, but I noticed. So, yeah, that's just one negative effect, and that's more so an effect that just bothers you. It doesn't really do anything physically to you or anything. It's just one effect that is a downside to your body image and self-esteem sort of thing. Um, another effect, I have horrible teeth. Um, part of, they have lasted through much torture and me not um, properly taking care of them with the eating disorder. Uh, but I have had four root canals. Um, I had to have scaling and planing, which is what you get when you have um, periodontal disease, which is in the gums. So I had that and lots of cavities. Yeah, so it's not fun. And I know there's some people that have even more soft than that. Your teeth, whether you're just anorexic or you're anorexic and bulimia or you're just bulimic or you um, just overeat whatever the eating disorder your teeth are affected because it is bone. Um, so it's your teeth and any bone in your body but your teeth most prevalent just because you know, it's the only bones you actually see. Um, I have lost a baby, which is probably the most detrimental of the side effects. Um, and it's taken years for me to get healthy enough to actually get pregnant again. So it's taken a lot toll on basically fertility is probably the main effect sorry I'm shaking it again um, so yeah and I had also had um, I'm trying to think of the mineral list. there was a mineral that I was deficient in and it was a very important mineral that affects the heart, but I can't think of it right now. Um, so luckily they did find that in time uh, when I was admitted, so that didn't have any long-term effects. I was just deficient in it for a little while. And another effect that's not physical, the loss of many, many friends. It's very unfortunate too. I have one person I'd really consider a friend now, and that's been after my eating disorder bouts and stuff. So yeah, um, but there are many, many effects people can have: permanent heart damage, permanent um, intestine damage, where. Even when they start to eat again, their body can't absorb any of it, so they have to get direct nutrition um, through their veins or whatever. I don't know all of it. Uh, I just have a few friends that have had to... Uh, not exactly friends, but I know them. <laughs> I sort of know them. Um, Acquaintances, I guess. They're on my Facebook. <laughs> so they're acquaintances. I've never actually met them or talked to them much. Just a little bit. Um, there's many, many effects out there. Uh, so, yeah. Question of the week. Oh, okay, yeah. Another thing to say. If you really don't think that there's any effects that the eating disorder has or will ever have on you, um, I'd suggest looking at sites like somethingfishy.org um, or any other 
news or recovery sort of site. They usually have um, like information links along the different side effects of eating disorders, and they usually I know like something fishy.org uh, has it. It shows which um, effects for a different which um, eating disorder. Sorry, my words aren't coming out as I'm thinking them. <sighs> anyway. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. It affects your mind a lot. Um, schooling was horrible for me because my brain was not functioning right. Yeah. Okay, so back to the question of the week, which was favorite website. And I think right now at this very moment, my favorite site would have to be Pinterest. Just because it's pretty awesome. You can find pretty much anything. If you want ideas on anything, just you know, type in that and you can find all kinds of pins of different websites and stuff to find out the information you are looking for. Um, it's just pretty awesome. If you don't know about it, you should check it out. Um, you do need an invite, so if you so find somebody that has a Pinterest account to invite you if you would like to join. Um, yeah. So that is it for this week. <laughs> Sorry, I'm days off. Um, so I will talk to you all next week. Later.